Well, if your workplace is like our newsroom, you could hear sounds of Tom Petty today as fans remember the musician, singer, and songwriter. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer died yesterday after being found unconscious in cardiac arrest at his home. Petty was 66 years old and his death cuts deep for longtime Tom Petty fans. Katie Crowther has mourned a super fan from Sussex who's among the millions mourning the rock icon. Katie joins us live from the Summerfest grounds where Petty played more than a dozen times. So many people have heard him here, Katie. That's right, Carol. Tom Petty has headlined the amphitheater here more than any other act, most recently just back in July. That's where I first met one of his biggest fans. A candle burns next to one of Don Fredrich's paintings of Tom Petty. Like it's like losing a family member because if I can tell you any song and I can bring a personal story or something to it. She got it at Summerfest this year when she and her husband saw his concert. To know that there's not gonna be another concert like from him, I really, I'm sad. Since she was 14, she's been at every Tom Petty show in Wisconsin. We go to the arena for $7.50 and see him. Since then, she's clipped out every photo and article about him and keeps them with all her memorabilia. One of her greatest joys was a quick interaction before a concert. Tom, love you! Can't wait to see your show! And he waved. And there was a lady standing down a few feet away. And I'm like, Tom, just wave to me! Now, reflecting on his death, she can't help but be thankful for what he gave her. He did this one song, Mystic Eyes, where he says, I just want to make everything all right. I want to give you that minute to be all, where everything's just all right. One moment in time, everything was all right. Give that to you, baby. He made me smile. Give you a moment. He made me feel, you know, like everything was going to be all right. The power of music. Tom Petty also the only act in Summerfest history to headline two consecutive nights on three different occasions. Milwaukee loved him. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Yeah, he was popular. Thank you very much, Katie. Now, the Summerfest executive who booked Tom Petty so many times today called Petty one of the great guys. Vice President of Entertainment Bob Babbage said Tom Petty reminded you of what an art form great songwriting truly is. Combine it with a warm summer night and it was magic. Magic for a lot. It definitely was.